thought I'd show you how I'm going to do my icicles now. Um, there's two ways of doing my icicles. I'm going to use the Woodland Scenics water effects for one. And I'm going to use a biro or pen. Now what you do with the pen is obviously you don't need the top. You don't need the pen itself, but I need the casing. Now this casing is made out of acrylic, so when you um, when I put the flame on it to to melt it, it gets really brittle. So sometimes you'll get a good one, sometimes you won't. Won't. But I'll show you how I'm going to do my icicles. Now what you do is you, you hold the flame where you want it to actually pull it apart sort of or stretch it. But this will show you what I'm talking about. And you can get a couple out of one pen. So you just keep turning the, the pen until it starts to melt. You can see it melting now. And then you stretch it so depending on how long you want you stretch it and just hold it for a while until she cools down like now and then all I do is cut the roughly there now you can cut the end off here too but sometimes when you cut them because the pen's so brittle now you can actually split it. So what I normally do is put it back over the heat like so. Well that one didn't turn out as good. But you can keep going so I'll do another one. So you can do thin ones, thick versions. Just twist it a bit. So, so there's some nice icicles. And I've done some others. So all you've got to dab is the um, the water effects on the end and stick it to the to the shed. That's just one way of doing some icicles. Yeah, with the so I'll show water you effects, uh, I just use baking paper and I've just stuck it onto a, a board because it just wants to curl up. So what I do is I'll do a strip of um, water effects, but I'll make it a little bit thicker than what I should be doing. So that's how thick I like to do mine. You just squeeze the bottle. Now 
this dries clear. And also you can do the icicles the same way by starting with a good dab and then thin it out. So depending on how thick you want your icicles. So, but also with these long versions of, to make icicles, I just use a toothpick and actually just spread it downwards. just keep going along until you get to the end. You can go back if you want, if you want to try and make them longer. Just keep doing the process to, until you're sort of happy with what you what you're getting. And then you just let this dry about 24 hours. So we'll let that dry and I'll show you. Dry the icicles now. Clear. Dried and cleared. So all I'm going to do is put the blade under and she should lift up. So there I have some icicles. Some long ones. So that's how they've turned out. Now all I do is put them on the snow shed. 
Okay, guys, I'm now going to put some. We'll see what she looks like. Icicles on. Now, we're, the way I'm doing it is I'm going to use the Woodland Scenics water effects, like so, and then just put them all over the place. Or even on here. So all I'm going to do is dab the glue. Or it might be easier on here. Just dab it where I want to put it. And also with the icicles, the long icicles, I'm going, I'm not going to use the water effects ones, I'm going to use my pen. So I'm going to use small ones and long ones. So it's just a matter of where where I put them. In this case I'm gonna put a whole row right here. Some I just cut. So I might just carry on and finish and I'll show you the outcome. I'll just do this last one.
Okay, guys, this is now. So I'll finish. I'm going to call this one a wrap yet. now. So all the icicles are on. And as you can see. Now I may keep adding to it, but for this part, she's completed. So now all I've got to do is um, do the scene on where where the snow shed goes. So that'll probably be my next job. But so far, so good. And as you can see, I've put in the broken, some broken boards as if they're just hanging on. So thanks to those all who have watched in the last three. This is the fourth one. So I'll call this a wrap. Thanks guys.